At this stage in the game, we're looking at this latest setback in the Euro as potentially still a setback within what could be a more constructive outlook going forward. Last week, the market matched the 2018 low that had been in place following that drop-off that we had seen earlier this year, the drop-off coming from the 2018 plus three-year high all the way down to that August low. And that was the 2018 low that was just matched last week. But overall, we have to remember that the market did break out in 2017 after trading in a consolidation from 2015 to 2017. And that was a bullish breakout. And so the market could find support by that previous resistance ahead of the next major upside extension if it can establish back above some critical resistance up at 1855. If it can, it'll open the door for a retest of the plus three year high and beyond. Of course, if it can't and we see the market start to break down again below 113, it will likely open a measured move downside extension that would target a drop back towards the 108 area. But for right now, if we can start to see this recovery off the 2018 low around 113 extend higher, there is risk that it develops into something much more significantly bullish medium to longer term.